What is going on, Jets Nation? This is Richie from Jets Media, and I want to share my thoughts of the report from Zach Rosenblatt of The Athletic that highlights that the New York Jets are internally operating as if the whole regime, Salah, Douglas, and even offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett will be back in 2024 next season. So I want to share my thoughts, and more importantly, want to get your guys' thoughts of this report down below in the comments section. Don't forget to smash that thumbs-up button, guys, if you enjoy the content here on Jets Media, and subscribe if you are new. Now let's dive right into the article. If you guys want to check out the article for yourself, I'll leave it down below in the description. I am going to be quoting the article on The Athletic, again, written by Zach Rosenblatt, who does a great job, in my opinion, covering the New York Jets. So he really highlights that Aaron Rodgers is the, quote, lifeline of this New York Jets team. And you look around the NFL, there's firings happening everywhere. Carolina Panthers fired Frank Reich. The Pittsburgh Steelers fired their offensive coordinator, Matt Canada. We saw the Buffalo Bills fire their offensive coordinator, Dorsey. And everyone's looking at the New York Jets and thinking to themselves, the New York Jets literally have the worst offense in the NFL by a large margin. You can even argue it is historically bad. And they're not making any changes. Hackett's not going anywhere. Robert Sala's job seems to be safe because if you look around the league, you see all these coaches fires firing. And now the Jets are staying pat. What's going on here? Well, the elephant in the room is, yes, you guessed it. It's Aaron Rodgers. And if the Jets want Aaron Rodgers to be their quarterback and they still believe that the Jets have a chance here to make a, a run next season with Aaron Rodgers at the helm, the reality is they are not going to give up on this current uh, staff of Robert Sala and Nathaniel Hackett. Now, that's going to frustrate a bunch of Jets fans because you see what Nathaniel Hackett's done this season, and he has proven to be a, co a coordinator that cannot coach this team without Aaron Rodgers. He has failed miserably with Zach Wilson. He's done nothing with Tim Boyle, and I get it. You're dealing with a bad hand of injuries of offensive linemen, and I understand that, but you see Nathaniel Hackett last season, what he did in Denver, and now what you're seeing this season in Denver with Russell Wilson and Sean Payton. There's obviously a consistent thing here. But the one thing I will say is, and Aaron Rodgers said it himself, folks, he won two MVPs in Nathaniel Hackett's system. Now, yes, it was Matt LaFleur calling the plays in Green Bay. Hackett was part of it. He was the red zone specialist. We have not seen that translate to the New York Jets at all. At all. But the reality is, if the Jets want to continue to have Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback, they are going to have to keep Hackett and Sala and Douglas for yet another year. Now, you can argue, again, that the coaches should be the one to blame for the collapse that we are seeing this season. Robert Sala needs to be held accountable for the offense. He deserves the flowers for the defense. I totally get that. He has built this defense from ground up. Last in the NFL when he got here. Last year, they took a step. Now, this year, we're seeing what they are capable of, and we all, all agree again that they are being wasted by the terrible New York Jets offense. But Sala also needs to be held accountable of this offense. Even though he's not an offensive mind, he is the one that is hiring the offensive coaching staff. He hired LaFleur in the first place. Now he hired Hackett. And unfortunately for Salah, he's not been able to have a top-tier quarterback at his position with this top-tier defense to coexist. So uh, when it comes to Joe Douglas, and I get that, you know, Jets fans, uh, some of them are feeling like Joe Douglas deserves all the blame and he should be fired. I'm not there. I'm really, really not there. Yes, your record tells you what they are. Joe Douglas and Robert Sala have not proven to be winners just yet. But I look at Joe Douglas, and he has a lot of misses, but he also has a lot of hits. And when you're a general manager coming to the New York Jets, he has done a, a good enough job, in my opinion, to keep him around for this upcoming draft class and another offseason with Joe Douglas. I really don't see anybody around the league that I can just be like, okay, yeah, let's fire Douglas and hire this guy and give us a brand new you know, perspective. Uh, you can say, how come Joe Douglas, he had a mindset of building this offensive line? Well, where's that at? The offensive line can't stay healthy. And uh, to be honest, I'm not someone that's blaming Douglas for this offensive line because the Jets have had 14 different offensive linemen play this season. And you can say, well, Richie, you he missed on this offensive lineman. He brought this guy out of retirement. This guy can't stay healthy. And yes, there should be accountability as Jets fans, we want to point fingers at this guy, this guy, this guy. I hear all that. But hearing this report that, you know, the Jets owners of Woody Johnson, Christopher Johnson, and all the guys upstairs feel like they want to run it back with this regime for another season, it's not shocking to me. Again, because Robert Sala is, you know, looking at Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback for next season. And Rodgers is not going to be back next season if the Jets decide to move on from Sala, move on from Hackett. That's a big reason why he came here. Don't forget, Aaron Rodgers would not be a Jet 
if it wasn't for Joe Douglas and Robert Sala building the culture that they established last season, and right now the culture seems to be just dwindling because of how bad and incompetent this season and team seems to be. But the reality is the regime is coming back for next season, and I want to get your guys' thoughts of this. And I know that if if you put up a poll of every single Jets fan can vote on would you want Nathaniel Hackett fired right now? I would think that majority would say, yes, I want him fired. But you also have to keep in mind, that means if you want Hackett fired, that means there's no more Aaron Rodgers. And I know some people say, good, let Rodgers walk. Let's let's rebrand. Let's get a new quarterback in the draft. And let's do all these things. But in my opinion, I still believe that Aaron Rodgers is going to return next season. And if he's going to return, you got to keep him comfortable. You got to keep him happy. Keep Hackett around because I still believe that Aaron and Hackett will be able to thrive on this offense uh, just because of Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers can dwindle any play call that comes in his head. It's his offense. It's not Hackett's offense. And it really, really stinks. And listen, there's a lot of things in the offseason that we need to talk about regarding, you know, the draft, free agency, moves, trades, all those things that we will be breaking down on this channel but this is a video I wanted to get out there about the report that they are definitely returning. So feel free to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of uh, that Douglas, Sala, Hackett, all will be back next year apparently. Now things can change, by the way. This isn't a guarantee. I do trust the sources of, of Zach Rosenblatt of The Athletic. But let's not pretend that things can change very quickly if you know the Jets just completely spiral downhill for the rest of the season. You never know what Woody Johnson can change his mind about. So again, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate all the support on the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Let's go Jets as always. Peace out.